The purpose of this study was to describe the perceptions of five rural women from Sarapiqui, Costa Rica after they were part of a training process of touristic entrepreneurships during 2015 and 2018. The idea was to better apprehend the experiences and the role women play in the rural community. The two research questions were based on the opinions and perceptions of these five women after having been part of the training process. Data collection was triangulated and based on three methods, document gathering, semi-structured interviews, and observations. Data was analyzed using content and thematic analysis and through the use of WebQDA. The selection criteria of the participants were five women whose ages range from 44 to 54 years old, who have lived in the community for more than 33 years, and there are mostly entrepreneurs. One of the participants is the current president of the community association and the rest are also active members of the same association. They also belong to other committees in the community. The trustworthiness of the study dealt with confidentiality being assured at all times, informed consents, internal and external validation processes and member checking. The personal context of the participants were based on what the families thought about the training processes. In some cases, the spouses were mad at the women for being late, and some other families were even against the whole idea of women getting trained. They saw it as a waste of time and with no real benefit for the women. But over time, the families started seeing improvement and they started to believe in the training processes for the women. Now, regarding the perceptions about empowerment, we divided the results into three main sessions. The first one has to do with how they perceive empowerment for other rural women. They feel empowered women do not give up. They take risks, and even when afraid to fail, they thrive to succeed, which makes them authentic leaders in the community. Now, regarding how others perceive empowerment women, they thought that the community struggles with conservative gender roles and expectations, but it's something that is slowly changing. They also feel that as empowered women, they have goals they want to achieve. That's why being in constant professional development and training sessions is important for them. Regarding how they perceive themselves as empowered women, it's important to emphasize that they see themselves as tough leaders, as hardworking, risk takers, passionate women, with the same notion that even when facing challenges and difficulties, they never give up. The last result has to do with the path women have overtaken to feel, to perceive themselves as empowered. They feel it has taken some time to get where they are at and that it began at very early ages in their lives. They faced financial issues and they lacked opportunities in the rural community. But they all agreed that training processes and professional development, especially those coming from public institutions in the region, are crucial to continue feeling empowered. The conclusions can be summed up in five points. First, the women in the study concur that empowerment is a driving force, not only in their personal lives, but it also deeply influences the community growth. Second, the way the participants perceived other women is a reflection on how they perceive themselves as empowered women. Number three, the training processes and professional development activities are key in consolidating the women's sense of empowerment. Fourth, the role that spouses and other relatives play in women's perceptions regarding empowerment is still deeply ingrained in the community. And finally, the path to become an empowered woman takes time and is still very challenging in rural communities.